Hello everyone, Andrew here. So, the latest Switch rumor, uh, Nintendo's new console, is that uh, the Switch will launch with a Super Mario RPG game with the Raving Rabbids in it. So, Super Mario RPG Cross Rabbids. That's... <laughs> that's interesting. I'm... Um, I'd like to see that. Uh, I actually do like uh, the Rabbids characters. Uh, I did buy Raymond Raving Rabbids way back in the day. It's okay, it's a mini game collection. Uh, I think I bought it mainly because there was just nothing out, and it was one of the very few games in the early Wii days that uh, supported progressive scan, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's why I have it. It's okay. But a couple years later, uh, Ubisoft came out with uh, Rabbids Go Home, which is uh, an adventure game uh, starring the Rabbids for the Wii. And I thought, uh, in honor of this Super Mario RPG cross Rabbids game that uh, rumor has it will launch with the Switch, it would be fun to take a look back at Rabbids Go Home. So, let's do that. Rabbids were the original minions, says Solid David. Yeah. Ah, isn't this music nice? Alright. Well, we're not going to play online. So there. I have an unchuck. <laughs> All right, we'll start a new game, and we'll call it. Uh, Pantsu. It's a good file name. Rabbits go home is played with a nunchuck. So, uh, check the hardware, shake the nunchuck. Alright. Okay. Shake the Wii remote. Unknown error. Foreign object inside the Wii remote. Activate internal camera. Well, by golly, Gumfrey, there's a there's a rabbit in there. Now, what's interesting is you can uh, shake the remote around and play with the buttons. See him clicking the B button back there. He's like, "What the heck is that?" Oh, hey. Yeah, so you can spend a lot of time <laughs> messing around with this, but that's the type of humor we have. Enjoy the cutscene, I'll be right back. Dum -dum -dum -dum.
Okay, so of course the idea is that we want to take a nap on the moon, so we're going to collect a bunch of garbage, uh, build a pile out of it so we can reach the moon and take a nap. Now, uh, just in case anyone was wondering, yes, I do own Super Mario RPG. So, just thought I'd show that off and see if I could make any of you jealous. Alright, so we have our rabbits and our shopping cart here, so... And hold A to accelerate, right. Okay. Which I will hold A most of the time. Okay, so the stuff circled on the screen is stuff that you can pick up and jam in your shopping cart. And he says pick up all the extra small stuff to start your pile. And of course, follow the arrows. Come here. Oh, another thing you can do is uh, press and, yeah, the little rabbit that's in your remote, you can aim them at the screen and fire them at different places, which can uh, stun enemies and do some other stuff. Oh, and because there's octopi in the junkyard for whatever reason. And you can shake the remote because it's a Wii game. To I'll explain this in a sec. So you can shake the remote and scream. Which is kind of useless right now, but... Well, actually, we can... Go back here and yell at the bushes. And sometimes there's stuff in there. So you can yell to do different things. Sometimes just fun. So this is just, of course, the uh, tutorial level. There's not going to be too much terribly interesting in this one until we get to the main level. But it does a nice job of explaining what the rules are, how to control your car, what you do, fun stuff like that. Oh, hiccup, pardon. I just put a dead bird in my cart. Come here, whatever you are. Crab? That's yeah, a crab. Come here. I will add you to my collection. There we go. Yep. A lot of licensed music in this game, so uh, probably not going to work on YouTube very well. But that's alright.
So we'll hand all our stuff to the collector rabbit with the tuba. Is that enough stuff? No, we're apparently a little short, but hey, look at that city. That city's full of stuff that we can grab and st stack in a pile so that we can reach the moon. Yeah, go to downtown and get stuff. And give your stuff to these guys, which we actually already did, which is kind of weird, but that's alright. So the light bulbs are health. Uh, you'll notice in the bottom left you have three light bulbs. If you get hit, you lose a light bulb. And if you lose all your light bulbs, then you have to start over. Although you can give your stuff to uh, the collector rabbit here so that you don't have to recollect everything. And this guy teaches you to blah, which clears obstacles and does something else that's really funny, which we'll see in a, a few minutes. Hey, buddy. Sorry. stuff are belong to the rabbits. Now naturally of course hitting the cacti is no good, don't want to do that. Okay, so something else that's good, scream at people to strip them and take their clothes. You cannot hide from me up there. Get down here. Now you notice uh, the more stuff I collect, the more presents I get. Uh, what that does is unlocks uh, costumes and other things that you can uh, dress your rabbits with. So if for some reason the uh, sexy, lacy, red thong uh, offends your delicate sensibilities, you can put them in something else. Uh, for anyone wondering, uh, 
the control is actually really tight. Uh, this just wandering around and skidding around with the shopping cart feels really good. So the game plays very well. Don't care so much for the, you know, shake to scream thing, but eh. Uh, there's also no camera controls, so uh, it's up to the game to give you a good angle. But most of the areas just take an overhead view, and uh, you know it's not a big deal. Get out of there! Come here. Your clothes are mine. Come go with me. Neil Sedaka, I think? Great song. Sadaka? Hmm. Someone look up who did come go with me. Okay, so we got mean old dogs. Mean old dog. Blah! So now we will collect the dog and stuff him in the shopping cart and add him to our junk pile so that we can reach the moon. Come on, pooch. Where are you? There you be. Alright, so as you can probably tell, if you get caught by this sucker, this uh, robot that's chasing us around the room, he will take you back to the beginning. So, neat bot is what it's called, so it behooves you not to get caught. Safe zone. Oh. So this here is the extra large object that we came to this level for. That's the goal of each level is to find the or reach the extra large object and take it home with you. Hey, upskirt. 
Anyone want to look up this woman's skirt? There you go. She's wearing blue undies. Gauntlet of this level. And there we go. And I didn't get everything, but I did get four presents, so that's nice. And as you progress through the game, the, the levels do get trickier, and the people start fighting back. You saw some dogs chasing you, but the people will start putting on these weird hazmat suit things. So, the game has a nice, uh, nice progression to it. And we still don't have enough garbage to reach the moon. But we see another area where there's some more stuff. So now there's a bunch of stuff we could do here, but we'll just follow the arrows to the next level, for the most part. The country roads are here in the background there for a bit. This is John Denver, I think. Oh, missed. Give me. Consume. Consume. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So imagine Super Mario RPG, I guess. It's interesting. You have to wonder, would you be fighting against the rabbits? Would they be the main grunt victim? Uh, would you be fighting with the rabbits? Both? You know, imagine the rabbits as a uh, part of your party. Could be really interesting. Very much looking forward to seeing what they do with that if the rumor pans out. You might wonder, well, will uh, Mallow or Gino be there? Uh, Mario RPG was done with, in a collaboration with Squaresoft, so they may own those characters. So you might not see them. Which would be... I know some people would find that very sad, but personally I've never given a toss about uh, um, either of those characters. But that's just me. Hey, doggy. Boink.
Now you work in your underwear. It's much more productive that way. Let's see, where's the water jug? There it is. So the water jugs, as you've probably noticed, can be used to uh, knock out the cacti, which allows you to get into other areas and collect stuff. Hey, you're dressed. There will be no clothes in Rabbit's World. Everyone runs around in their skivvies. Your hat is fine, though. You can keep the hat. You can keep your hat on. Who knew that coaxing people out of their clothing was as easy as wandering up behind them and yelling, Bois? I certainly did not know that. But now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Give me your clothes, sir. Bois. Bois, I say. I don't know, if a uh, rabbit walked up behind me and said, Wah, I'd probably keep all my clothes on, but I'm shy. Now, these are, of course, you have a limited amount of time. I missed a couple things because I wasn't paying attention. Limited amount of time to wander through this area, get as much crap as you can, and then get out before the time runs out. And if you don't, well, you have to do it again. Get, get off of it. Get down here. I don't mind if you sit on top of the cabinet, but you better be in your skivvies. Hello, sir. Clothing, please. One, Nintendo says, one of the best UB games so far. Yeah, it's, I really do enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's pretty simple, but it's, it's really fun. It's very cute. It's fun to play. It controls really well. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite Ubisoft game, but uh, it is overlooked. I don't, I don't think a lot of people gave this one a chance, uh, which is a shame because it's, it's genuinely just a, a lot of fun to play. Do I see a gentleman dressed? Not in my world, sir. Not in my world. Give to me your pants. I will take all the pants. All your p pants are belong to me. Here I am. You called? 
All right, another one of these rooms to get through. stuff real quick. Okay, now you can have stuff. <laughs> oh, poor Sandra. I think she'll feel better when we relieve her of her clothing. Join us, Sandra. The world is so much easier with no pants. Come here, Sandra. You know you want to join us in the underwear apocalypse. You are no longer the boss, sir. You are just another man in his underwear. Like Sandra like me. We are all together and unified in undies. I will take your clock. And I will leave. Bye, Sandra. It's been fun. Wah. Wah. Alright, anything over in the corners? Nah. Oh, I'm on a time limit. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, boy, that came down to the wire. Mohorta asks, are games like this still made? Ah. It depends exactly what you mean by like this. Adventure games, sure, but um, anything that's just meant to be cute and cartoony and colorful and fun, you, you don't see too many of those these days, which is a shame. I mean, video games made to, I mean, I mean real complicated uh, games with super serious and deep stories are wonderful. I love stuff like that, too, but sometimes you just like to have a fun, colorful romp to just sit back and play through and enjoy and uh, this is one of those types of games that's really easy to just uh, this game I think it was 2009 so it's seven years old and uh, even years later it still holds up it's just a lot of fun I and mean, it's an incredibly goofy premise but uh, it's it's one of those simple game mechanics that what really makes it you know how uh, Mario is just fun to control. It's fun to move Mario around and jump. You know, just wandering around whatever area he's in and jumping and rebounding off walls and stuff. It feels good. It's fun. Uh, Go Home, Rabbids Go Home is kind of the same way. It, it's just really a joy to, to hold down the A button and just drive this shopping cart all over the place. Uh, it, so, just a lot of fun. I, I really like this game and... Uh, Oh, here we go. Here's where the presents come in. So, suck a rabbit into the Wii remote by pressing and holding the A button. Alright, we're gonna get Mr. Thong here. Come on. Okay. Hello. So, here are where the uh, gifts come in. So we can, uh, tools. And we'll... Grab the head vice here. Put the vice on Rabbit's head. Alright. 
shake the Wii remote horizontally to squash its head and vertically to stretch its head. That seems so. Yeah, there we go. And of course you can do that. Aw, oh, isn't he adorable? Place the tip of the air tank on one of your rabbit's eyes or ears. Tilt the Wii remote to inflate or deflate. Okay. Oh, come here. Oh, no. Oh, come here. No, come here. Okay, hold. No. Ah. There we go. Yes, that, that's lovely. And this is the candy bomb that will reset his face, but we like it like that. What else do we got? Tattoos. Paint the rabbit. Spray can. All right. Press and hold A. There we go. Uncheck, control stick, move around, and draw on the rabbit's feet. Now tickle his foot as soon as he lifts up. How do I tickle a foot? I have no idea how to tickle a foot. I'm not sure what that means. How about this? There we go. We will put a sensor box right here. Or actually, that kind of looks like pubic hair, so maybe not. But, yeah, colors and stuff. You can do all kinds of things. Let's see what else do we have. Accessories. Uh-huh. So we can put a dead chicken on his head. There we go, that's that's lovely. And what? Uh oh, here's specific tattoos and stuff. Yeah, that's good. And what is this? Oh, we don't have that yet. Okay, but anyway, it gives you an idea. Do you hear that? Go look. What is that? Uh oh, what happened? There we go. Anyway, enough, enough foolishness. says it reminds me of the classic collection type games that Nintendo was known for back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yep. Brennan, you've been here since the beginning. I've been playing for 40 minutes. So, next. Infectious Blues. Mm. I'll probably play for an hour or so. So maybe another 20, 30 minutes. Another level or two. I just wanted to take a look back at this uh, game uh, in light of the rumor that a Super Mario RPG Cross Raving Rabbids game will be launching with the Switch. So. Oh, well, that, that was not what I intended to do. Puppy! I will take the puppy. We, we have broken the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I will take those clothes. Don't you feel better running around in the rain in your underwear? I'm sure you do. Whoop.
shoot the cannonball rabbit from the remote, right? Point Z. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, we. I. I already, I already spoke to you, sir. Uh, Paul says the music in this game is one of the best soundtracks. Yeah, and YouTube is probably going to copyright claim the hell out of it, but that's all right. You're wearing clothes, Betty. That that won't do. Everyone must be in their underwear. Everyone. Uh, Brendan asks how old I am. 36. And Abby says, I played this game a lot with my older sister. Well, then you and your older sister have excellent taste. I wonder if I can shoot this thing. Aha! I will take that. Thank you very much. And I'm <laughs> dragging green crap all over the place, which this robot really doesn't like. Oop, pardon. Hi. Grab those. You're right. Boingy, boingy. Yep. Those hospital gowns are embarrassing, so I'll just take it off your hands. Bounds on beds to get unreachable places, right. Boink. Is there anything in here? No. Hi, Santa. Uh, I'm gotta get all the stuff. Oh, well, fudge. Bedpans are mine. Uh, Abby asked, do I have Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon on Wii? I have, um, I don't have Animal Crossing, not a fan. Uh, my sister and my mom love that game, though. They are hardcore about Animal Crossing, let me tell you. But I do own a game called uh, Rune Factory Frontier, which uh, is uh, basically Harvest Moon, but with dungeon crawling elements. And it's actually a lot of fun. I played, a bit of, I played it for a few hours during the uh, charity stream a couple weeks ago, and I'm currently uploading those videos now, so in about... <laughs> two weeks, you, you may be able to see those. Nope, oh, puppy! More puppy! Oh. 
Come here, puppies. Yep, yep. Come here. There we are. Can I get in here? Can I get in here? Scream at the door? Hmm. Drop in from above, maybe? Aha! Alright, let's go get the sickly guy. Ha <laughs> ha, found more stuff. Let's check out this other one first. Is this just a... Okay, that's just a little alcove. asks, uh, what are my thoughts on the new Nintendo Switch? Well, keeping in mind that we uh, really only know the main selling point, the fact that it's a console that you can take with you, um, it's not something that interests me. L let me uh, clarify that. We're going to stand about in front of the door. Okay. Um, I, I heard you the first time, little guy. Thank you. Uh, portability is not something I value, because I'm a stay-at-home gamer, if you will. Uh, so, the main selling point of the system is not something that I am attracted to or that I value. Um, and I'm also a little disappointed that the potential of what the system could be is lessened by the need to be portable. Are you okay? <laughs> but that said, I'm sh you know the Wii was a full console or a full technological generation behind its contemporaries, and it's got a ton of fun games on it, like this one. So, you know, it's. Not what I wanted, but uh, I'm sure it will be fine and have a lot of great games on it. And I'm very interested in seeing what uh, Nintendo shows off on uh, January 12th. Alright, let's see. Mm-hmm. All right, so we want to lure the cleanie bot over here. Hello, cleanie bot. So we'll have to drive our cart through gravy or whatever this is. And then not wash it off through the water. There we go.
<laughs> Almost going clear off the edge. Oh, what is it? There's some stuff down here. Hello, stuff. Your dog is mine. Oh, one even paying attention. Hi, puppy. Huh? Uh, how do I get up here? Do, do, do. Oh, over here. All right, got it. Abby says, I love the switch and can't wait for it. Glad to hear. Yeah, while the switch may not be exactly what I wanted, um, I hope it does very, very well because, you know, at the end of the day, I like playing awesome games. I shake the Wii Remote to perform up to three jumps in a row. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay, I remember this now. So we can inflate this, this dude, right? Eh, I will take this, these dead birds that are floating in the air somehow. Nope, nope, nope. That's right. No, that didn't work at all, and I'm stuck, so, oh well. Or, well, actually, no, I'm not. Missed the first one, but that's all right. Anything over here? Nope. Oh, not yet, sir. Not yet. Oh, no. Ah. Abby says, yep, it's... <laughs> Abby says, yep, it's all about the games, and I'm glad we're not going to get another PS4 clone, lol. Yeah, that's, that's true. I'm just concerned that if the s Switch is significantly underpowered compared to the uh, PS4 and the uh, uh, Xbox One, that we're going to have exactly the same problem that we had with the Wii U, being that no one's going to bother porting stuff to it. But, we'll see.
Oh, that sucked. <laughs> Down the toilet with you, sir. You'll be fine. Just fine. Oh. I didn't collect enough stuff. How embarrassing. Oh, hiccup. <clears throat> on the bright side with uh, the switch being a uh, what are we looking at here with the switch being whack a wabbit with the switch being a portable console uh, it's likely that games that frustrate me because they are only on the 3DS where I don't want to play them like Monster Hunter uh, it, there's a good chance that games like that could end up on the Switch where you know it may not be as powerful as it could have been but it's more com I can plug it into the TV and enjoy playing it so hopefully we'll see Monster Hunter on the Switch I would love that Give to me your pants. Come on, yappy dogs. Time to begin a new life. And I think I went over this thing and missed all of this stuff, so let's try that again. Eee. There we are. Oop. And didn't even see the dog. Alright, little yappy dogs. I like the AI to the yappy dogs. They basically, they bark at you and they yell at you and they <laughs> be obnoxious, but the minute you face them, they run away. Find five pipes and blow a rabbit will help you. Oh, well. Is, is that one? Okay, I guess we have to find more than that. Oh, there's a pipe right there. You don't give me a chance, bomb. Whoop, wrong button.
Uh, Mahorda asks if I own any other Rabbids games. Uh, yes, I own uh, uh, Raymond Raving Rabbids, which I believe was the first one. Uh, come here, crabs. We're pretty sure there was one more. There he is. Gotcha. So, yeah, I have Raymond Raving Rabbids, which is uh, one of the minigame collections. And, uh... Eh. You know, it, it's okay. Alright. There's one. And do we see a second one? Nope. Actually, should have left that speaker up because that song's great. <laughs> yes, you are naked. Look, look, look. There is someone who's not naked. We will fix that. All better. All better. Hey, we got some Capri Sun. things. So many things. I must have them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much stuff. Oh, and Santa! Hi, Santa! I beg your pardon, Santa. What did you just call me? Not very nice. Snazzy blue undies there, dude. Snazzy. Ah, here we go. Almost like I'm good at video games. <laughs> Did they have to license Capri Sun? Probably did.
Yeah. Got four presents, that's good. Oops. So much for being good at video games. I am now terrible at video games. I will never live down the shame. Until we have all the things. All the things. I wonder how Mario will react to the rabbits. You know? Will he just shake his head in incredulity, going like, I just, I just, I just don't even? Be interesting to find out. Oop. Oh. Let's try that again. Someone is upset with me. I'll be right with you, sir. I must liberate these people from their from their clothing. You are free now, sir. You are free. Oop. No need to thank me. I I'll accept your thanks, but, you know, no, no need. You, you should totally thank me, though. says, I, I can imagine Luigi being the second cleverest in a troop of rabbits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, I'm playing through uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, uh, the 3DS game. I'm playing through that right now. It's, it's great. It's really good. It's really my only critique is I wish it was on a console instead of the handheld. But uh, I'll talk about that more on the podcast, I think. So that's a little over an hour. I think we'll see how high our, our uh, pile is and then uh, call it a day. Does it actually go back to the pile? Oh, well, eh, one more because this looks like the end of this world. So let's, let's do one more. This might be a boss fight or something. Okay, back in the junkyard. Gotta add the big diving board to the pile. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, we're doing pretty, pretty nicely with the pile. Look at that. That's, that's just wonderful. 
We are doing good work. All right, can we reach the moon now? No. Poo. Uh, Mahorda asks, is there much difference between the 3DS and GameCube Mansion games? Yeah, they're two different games. One, One's really a sequel to the other. Uh, the 3DS version has, uh, like, multiple different mansions. And uh, it's broken up into individual quests. Like, each mansion has five or six different quests culminating in a boss fight. So the game's constantly yanking you out of the mansion to start a new... once you reach an objective, which I find breaks the flow and is a little irritating, but it's all right. In the original game, you were in one mansion and you just explored and figured out where everything was, and I, I like the flow of that game better. I, I suppose it works better flow-wise as a console, or as a handheld game, the way they do it in the sequel, but yeah, I, I just prefer console games. Hold A to skid with your car. Right, okay. Yeah, do a figure eight, and... Right, got it. Blah. Blah, indeed. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so, we're adding new elements. We have the, uh kind of drift into a boost type of mechanic here. <laughs> Borked that one. Let's try that again. There we go. The key is hold down the button. <laughs> hold down the button is what you're supposed to do there. Ran through the boxes with the super boost, all right. Come here, little uh, crab, I think. Gotcha. Mm. You will be mine. I will collect you and add you to the pile like another piece of garbage. Sure, what I got a frog? Are you a frog? There we go. I should sleep more.
and we're back in the city. So I think that's good. So that gives you all a nice look at uh, the Rabbids Adventure game from a few years ago and might give you some ideas on how uh, Super Mario RPG and the Rabbids might, uh, might, <laughs> might fit together. Uh, assuming the rumor turns out to be true and we do get a Super Mario RPG cross uh, Fire, Fire Emblem <laughs> Mario RPG cross Fire Emblem all right uh, Mario RPG cross uh, uh, Raving Rabbids so uh, that's it for this uh, thank you everyone for hanging out and watching I uh, hope you enjoyed a look at this game and uh, I have no idea what it goes for on Amazon or eBay or whatever, but uh, if it looked, I, I enjoy it, I recommend it, uh, pick it up if it's uh, a reasonable price. So, uh, that's it for me, uh, come back at uh, 7, in, uh, a little less than 3 hours, and we'll have the Mole Hill Mountain podcast, and we'll chat about some stuff. So, until then, uh, talk to y'all later, have fun.